Oh God, cleanse me a sinner and have mercy on me. Oh God, cleanse me a sinner and have mercy on me. Oh God, cleanse me a sinner and have mercy on me. We offer you incense, Christ our God, as a sweet spiritual fragrance received upon your holy altar, and send down upon us from the grace of your all Holy Spirit. Blessed is the kingdom. Of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O heavenly King, comforter, the Spirit of truth, work and rest, and fill us all things, treasury of blessings, and giver of life. Come and abide in us, and cleanse us from every impurity, and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Lord, cleanse us from our sins. O Master, pardon our transgressions. O Holy One, visit and give our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, and will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil one. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship God our King. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King and our God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself, our King and our God. Bless the Lord, O my soul, Lord my God, thou art very great. Thou art clothed with honor and majesty, who covers thyself with light as with a garment, who has stretched out the heavens like a tent, who has laid the beams of thy chambers on the waters, who makes the clouds thy chariots, who rideth from the wings of the wind, who makes the wind thy messengers, fire and flame thy ministers. Thou didst set the earth on its foundation so that it should never be shaken. Thou didst cover it with the deep as with the garments, the water stood above the mountains. At thy feet they fled, the sound of thy thunder, they took the flight. The mountains rose, the valley sank down, the place which thou didst appoint for them. Thou didst set a bound which they should not pass, so that they might not again cover the earth. Thou makest springs gush forth in the valleys, they flow between the hills. They give drink to every beast of the field, but the wild asses quench their thirst. By them the birds of the air have their habitation, they sing among the branches. From thy lofty abode thou waterest the mountains, the earth is satisfied with the fruit of thy work. Thou dost cause the grass to grow with the cattle, and plants for man to cultivate, that he may bring forth food from the earth. And wine to gladden the heart of man, oil to make his face shine, and bread to strengthen man's heart. The trees of the Lord are watered abundantly, the seeds of living on which he planted. In them the birds build their nests, the story has her home in the fir trees. The high mountains are for the wild goats, the rocks are a refuge for the badgers. 
Thou hast made the sun to mark. Thou hast made the moon to mark the seasons. The sun knows its time for set. Thou makest darkness and it is night. When all the beasts of the forest creep forth, the young lions roar for their prey, seeking their food from God. When the sun rises, they get them away and lie down in their dens. Man goes forth to his work and to his labor until the evening. O Lord, how manifold are thy works and wisdom hast thou made them all. The earth is full of thy creatures, yonder is the sea, great and wide, which changes things innumerable, innumerable, living things both small and great. There go the ships and the Leviathan, which thou didst form to sport in it. These all look to thee to give them their food in due season. When thou givest it to them, they gather it up. When thou openest thy hand, they are filled with good things. When thou hidest thy face, they are dismayed. When thou takest away their breath, they die and return to their dust. When thou sendest forth thy spirit, they are created, and thou renewest the face of the earth. May the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord rejoice in his works. Who looks on the earth and it trembles, who touches the mountains and they smoke. I will sing to the Lord as long as I live, I will sing praises to my God while I have been. May my meditation be pleasing to him, for I rejoice in the Lord. Let sinners be consumed from the earth, and let the wicked be no more. Bless the Lord, O my soul, the sun knows its time and percent. Thou makest darkness and it is night, O Lord, how manifold are thy works, and wisdom hast thou made them all. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. In peace let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Peace from above and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the welfare of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this holy house and for those who enter it with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For his beatitude, Metropolitan Deacon, for his eminence, Archbishop Alexander, for the honorable priesthood, the diaconate in Christ, and for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this country, its president, for all its civil authorities, and for those serving in its armed forces everywhere, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this city of San Antonio, for every city and countryside, and for the faithful dwelling in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For seasonable weather, for abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For travelers by land, by sea, and by air, for the sick and the suffering. For captives in their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That we may be delivered from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. Unto thee are to all glory, honor, and worship to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages.
when I call upon thee, hear me, O Lord. Let my prayer arise in thy sight as in chant, and of the lifting up of my hand be an Sacrifice, hear me, O Lord. Bring my sword of prison that I may give thanks to thy name. The righteous will surround me, for thou wilt do bounty to be with me. Out of the depths I cry to thee, O Lord, Lord, hear my voice. Let thine ears be attentive to the voice of my supplications. If thou, O Lord, shouldst mark iniquities, Lord, who could stand? But there is forgiveness with thee. Christ has met me flesh from the O pure virgin. He is in the human likeness for our sake. When he desired to take thee from this world and receive thee to himself, the disciples assembled to bury thy pure. Body. They gathered around thee, filled with joy, when the time for thy passing had come. They worshipped, crying out to faith, rejoice a mother of the new grants the world great mercy. For thy name's sake I wait for thee, O Lord. My soul is waiting for thy word. My soul is hoped on the Lord. When the time for thine exodus had come, the holy disciples stood before thee and said, As we behold thy glorious and holy passing, we honor the tent of thy body as God thrown afar. The tabernacle of glory now is carried to burial by our hands. Thy body from which the world has received great mercy. From the morning, for on the morning watch until night, from the morning watch let Israel hope on the Lord. Standing beside thy bed, as deep in accordance with nature's law, the disciples of the Redeemer prepare to carry body to the grave. They sang burial hymns to the all pure and holy lady. Rejoice, O honored abode of God. Rejoice, O helper of mankind. Rejoice, O pure chariot of divinity. Thou art taken to the everlasting hills most wondrously. The ark of glory passes over to God. With him she takes up her rest forever. Asking for the faithful and ending peace and great mercy. For with the Lord there is mercy, and with him is plenty's redemption, and he will deliver Israel from all his iniquities. O wise and venerable Alexander, thou hast brightened the holy vestments with the purple dye of thy blood. Thou hast gone to from strength to strength, run from glory to glory. Pray that our souls be granted peace and great mercy. Thou dost bring praise the Lord, O nations, praise him, all people. Thou didst bring a company of martyrs to Christ by thy precepts and teachings. 
O venerable Father Alexander, for thy teaching was not by word alone, but thou didst offer thyself in example. With the martyrs pray that we may be granted peace and great mercy. For his mercy is, a, is confirmed on us, and the truth of, Lord, of the Lord endures forever. That is first off, for the bloodless sacrifice as a priest, O godly and venerable Alexander, then thou didst offer thyself in thy blood as a holy and acceptable sacrifice. As a martyr for Christ, pray to him for those who him be. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to ages of ages. Amen. Thou didst believe in Jesus, thy Son, and our God, O Pentecost. He was put to death as a man, but as God he arose. Conforming to nature's law, thou didst also die, O Mother of God. When thou wast taken into thy bridal chamber of heaven, the heavens are sanctified by thy ascent, just as the earth was illumined by thy child bearing. Both angels and apostles assembled to bury thy pure body. They sing thee a funeral hymn and fear, as they, be, as they beheld thy passage to life. This is a change in the right and to the most high. He dwelt within thee, and thou shalt never be moved. Turn not thy face from us, O most praiseworthy one. We are thy people, the sheep of thy pasture, and we call on thy name. Through thee may we receive salvation and great Mercy. Wisdom, let us attend. O gladsome light of the holy glory of the immortal Father. Let us attend, peace be unto all, 
Wisdom, the Prokemenon in the fifth tone. O God, save me in thy name, and in thy power thou shalt judge me. O God, save me in thy name, and in thy power thou shalt judge me. Hearken unto my prayer, O God, give ear unto the sayings of my mouth. O God, save me in thy name, and in thy power thou shalt judge O oh God, save me in thy name. And in thy power thou shalt judge me. Wisdom. The reading from the wisdom of Solomon. Let us attend. But the souls of the righteous are in the hand of God, and no torment will ever touch them. In the eyes of the foolish they seem, they seem to have died, and their departure was thought to be an affliction, and their going from us to be their destruction. But they are at peace, for though in the sight of men they were punished, their hope is full of immortality. Having been disciplined a little, they will receive great good, because God tested them and found them worthy of himself. Like gold in the furnace he tried them, and like a sacrificial burnt offering, he accepted them. In the time of their visitation, they will shine forth and will run like sparks through the stubble. They will govern nations and rule other peoples. And the Lord will reign over them forever. Those who trust in him will understand truth, and the truth will abide with him in love, because grace and mercy are upon his elect, and he watches over his Holy One. Wisdom. The reading from Proverbs. Let us attend. The mouth of the righteous brings forth wisdom, but the perverse tongue will be cut off. The lips of the righteous know what is acceptable, but the mouth of the wicked what is perverse. A false balance is an abomination to the Lord, but a just weight is his delight. When pride comes, then comes disgrace, but with the humble is wisdom. The integrity of the upright guides them, but the crookedness of the treacherous destroys them. Riches do not profit in the day of wrath, but righteousness delivers from death. The righteousness of the blameless keeps his way straight, but the wicked falls by his own wickedness. The righteousness of the upright delivers them, but the treacherous are taken captive by their lust. When the wicked dies, his hope perisheth, and the expectation of the godless comes to naught. The righteous is delivered from trouble, and the wicked gets into it instead. With his mouth the godless man would destroy his neighbor, but by knowledge the righteous are delivered. When it goes well with the righteous, the city rejoices, and when the wicked perish, there are shouts of gladness. Wisdom. The reading from the wisdom of Solomon. Let us attend. But the righteous man, though he die early, will be at rest. For old age is not honored for length of time, nor measured by number of years. But understanding is gray hair for men, and blameless life is ripe old age. There was one who pleased God and was loved by him, and while living among sinners he was taken up. He was caught up lest he will change his understanding or God will deceive his soul. For the fascination of wickedness obscures what is good and roving desire perverts the innocent mind. Being perfected in a short time, he fulfilled long years for his soul. Was pleasing to the Lord, therefore he took him quickly from the midst of wickedness. Yet the people saw and he did not, under and did not understand, nor did such a thing, take such a thing to heart that God's grace and mercy are with his elect, and he watches over his holy one. <clears throat> In a kind of fiery temptations will the church of Yahshua
In a time of fire temptations with the Church of Russia, you manifested Christ's love to your flock through meekness and humility. As a good pastor, you laid down your life, your life for him. Pray for us, higher martyr Alexander, that our souls may be illumined. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages, ages, amen. I am Mother Alexander. I am Mother Alexander. You are poor labors and illness upon your shoulders, and joyfully took the narrow path of suffering for Christ, to which you attain the heavenly kingdom. Entreat on the Savior to grant us mercy on the day of judgment. Poor holy art thou, our God, and unto thee do we send up glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Da, da, da. Righteous 
exalting glory, let them sing for joy on their couches. Let the righteous exalting glory, let them sing for joy on their couches. Sing to the Lord a new song, his praise in the assemblies of the saints. Let the righteous in God employ, let them sing for joy on the God. Let them sing for joy on their couches. Wisdom. <laughs> the epistle of the Holy Apostle Paul. To, uh, the, the Holy Apostle Paul to the Hebrews. Let us attend. Remember them that have rule over you, who have spoken unto you the word of God, whose faith follow considering the end of their conversation. Jesus Christ the same yesterday and today and forever. Be not carried about with divers and strange doctrines, for it is a good thing that the heart is established with grace, not with meats, but with which have not profited from them have been occupied therein. We have an altar whereof they have no right to eat which serve the tabernacle. For the bodies of those beasts whose blood is brought into the sanctuary by the high priest of sin are burned outside the camp. Wherefore Jesus was Jesus also that he might sanctify the people with his own blood and suffered outside the gate. Let us go forth therefore unto the unto him outside the camp bearing his reproach. For here have we no continuing city, but we seek one to come. By him, therefore, let us offer the sacrifice of the praise to God continually, that is the fruit of our lips, giving thanks to his name. But to do good and to communicate, forget not, for, for such sacrifice, sacrifices God is well pleased. Please be to thee that read it. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah in the second tone. shall close themselves with righteousness and thy saints, saints shall rejoice. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord has elected Zion. He has chosen her for his dwelling place. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Wisdom, stand upright, let us listen to the Holy Gospel. Peace be unto all. And to the Spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to thee, O Lord. Glory Let us attend. The Lord said to the Jews that came to him, I am the door. By me, if any man enters in, he shall be saved and shall go in and out and find pasture. The thief does not come but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. I am come that they might have life 
and that they might have it more abundantly. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd gives his life for the sheep. But he who is a hireling and not the shepherd, whose own the sheep are not, sees the wolf coming and leaves the sheep and flees, and the wolf catches them and scatters the sheep. The hireling flees because he is a hireling and does not care for the sheep. I am the good shepherd, and I know my sheep, and am known of mine. As the Father knows me, even so I know the Father, and I lay down my life for the sheep, and other sheep I have which are not of this fold. Them also I must bring, and they shall hear my voice, and there shall be one fold and one shepherd. Glory to Thee, O Lord, glory to In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Glory to Jesus Christ. Amen. The church is really beginning to come into its own in terms of liturgical celebration of these saints that came from other countries and took up residence here in a strange land with a strange language and strange customs. And they came to those who had ventured across the globe and Father Alexander Hotovitsky uh, was one of those who came in the later part, I suppose, of the missionary endeavors of the church and helped continue the establishment of these immigrant communities. And I actually spoke today with a priest who, when he was in seminary, he served at uh, Jersey City, the uh, church there, our church there in Jersey City, New Jersey, which... Father Alexander helped to found and had served at that altar. And he and I, we were talking about the service to Father Alexander. Now, this service that we're, we're uh, praying tonight is for a higher martyr, a, a priest martyr. And it's sort of generic. You, you know, take out one name, put in another name. But I hear tell that there is... You know, a process of people that are, are just like we did with St. Herman a couple of weeks back. We're investigating their lives. We're looking at the sacrifices they made. And new services are being, uh, you know, they're, they're, they're being brought into use, being uh, looked to be blessed uh, and used so that the faithful can know what our story is in this country, though I'm not sure if maybe a single one of us in this room is actually ethnically Slavic or Russian or, or any of that. But they came and, and you know, we have made this our story too, to be a link in this chain. Father Alexander came, as I said, to this strange place because he knew that the faithful should not and must not sojourn from their earthly country of origin without the prayers and the presence and the sacraments of Holy Church, that she must be there. 
And Father Alexander was not only aware of the Russian community, but he was forward thinking. He began to publish a newspaper in Russian and in English, speaking about you know, not only the Russians who came in, but converts from Roman Catholicism, from the Unia, from uh, even parts of Protestantism. Even in his age, over 100 years ago, the last part of the 1800s, the first part of the 1900s, he was missionary-minded with St. Patriarch Tikhon you know, at the helm. And he helped also found the New York St. Nicholas Cathedral. And so these monuments exist and these communities exist thanks to the hard work of this young priest. But when I look at his life, of course, he's known as a hero martyr. And as St. Tikhon was, he was also called back to Russia. And he was martyred under the Soviet yoke after several years of laboring under the oversight of the supervision of, or the unyielding eye of the Soviet government. And he even goes back, quote unquote, home. And he realizes that this is not the home he left. Ultimately, he is a witness. This is what a martyr is. That as Christians, we have, as St. Paul said, no lasting city. As we heard in the epistle, we have no lasting city. Christ was crucified outside the walls of Jerusalem. St. Alexander returned to his own people, and he was martyred there. And he was sent, as we heard in the Panahida that we prayed earlier today for Bob King, the homeland of his heart's desire. St. Alexander is a reminder that our home is not here. As much as I enjoy and am grateful for coming back to the Lone Star State, this ain't my real home. When I stand at that altar, when I stand before the Holy Chalice, when we all image, that's what we say, let us who mystically represent the cherubim. The word in Greek was we who image or icon the seraphim. We are home. Heaven and earth are realized and united. We may not feel it all the time. We may not fully appreciate it all of the time. We may not even be ready every time we come. But our home is here. Our home is every time we go into our icon corners. Our home is every time you get back into your car and you shut the door and you're stressed out. And you just take those moments to desperately pray maybe as an icon dangles from your rearview mirror, Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me. In those moments, you are home. You encounter the one who has never left you, the one who is ever around you and closer than the air you breathe. St. Alexander shows us that nearness, that reality is even more precious than the breath that you breathe. As he would not deny and he would not give up either the holy people, their identities, or the holy objects. He was one of those that St. Tikhon, when the Soviets demanded they you know, give over all of these things from the churches, they gladly gave money. They gladly gave food. To the starving of Russia, they, they were giving all of this. And finally they said, yes, and you've got to melt down the holy vessels and give those too. And he says, we will not do that. 
We will not take what has been consecrated and that holds and gives contour to the blood of God and make it something profane. And they smeared the church in a smear campaign, and Father Alexander was one of those. Ultimately, he met his end. But even in the face of that, he would, den he would not deny the reality that as, as if it were simply a veil so thin you could see right through it at the end, that our God is never far away. Our God is not one who has abandoned us. But whether we are in a land far away from the home we know, or whether we are suffering in a place that should be familiar and comforting, we have recourse. We have access. We can retreat to the one who places our true home directly before us and directly within us. The kingdom of heaven is within you. Retreat to that place of prayer, that place of quietude, to that place of peace that is meant to be your heart. And find again the homeland of your heart's desire where Christ is, the mother of God is, and St. Alexander Hotovitsky also is, praying for us, encouraging us, strengthening us, and calling us as well home. To our Lord, God, and Savior, Jesus Christ, be all glory, honor, and worship, together with his Father, who has no beginning in the all-holy and good and life-giving spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let us say with all our soul and with all our mind, let us say, Lord have mercy. O Lord Almighty, the God of our fathers, we pray thee, hearken and have mercy. Lord have mercy. Have mercy on us, O God, according to thy great mercy. We pray thee, hearken and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Have mercy on us, O God, according to thy great mercy. We pray thee, hearken and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for his beatitude, our metropolitan deacon, for his eminence, our Archbishop Alexander, for priests, deacons, and all other clergy, and for all our brethren in Christ. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. And we pray for this country, its president, for all its civil authorities, and those serving in its armed forces. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the blessed and ever-memorable Holy Orthodox Patriarchs, and for the blessed and ever-memorable founders of this Holy Church, we pray especially for the right Reverend Nicholas, Marianne, Robert, Elaine Shooping, Jim, for those who have perished in the COVID pandemic and those who perished in the explosion in Beirut, for all our fathers and brethren, the Orthodox, a part of this life before us, who here and in all the world lie asleep in the Lord. Lord, Again, we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, and visitation for the servants of God, for the archpriest Antonio, the Matushka, Elizabeth, for Kayla, Phyllis, Steve, Svetlana, Jeanette, Clayton, Mary, Michael, Jason, Michael, Vera, Veronica, the suffering Christians in the Middle East, all those suffering and affected by COVID-19, for Ashley, Sundeep, the priest Joshua, the Matushka, Mariana, for those injured in the Beirut explosion, for the servant of God, Lamanti, for the brethren of this holy temple, and for the pardon and remission of their sins. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for those who bring offerings and do good works in this holy and all-venerable temple, for those who labor and those who sing, for the reader Gregory, Stefani, Joseph, Riley, Joseph and Samuel, and for all the people here present who await thy great and rich mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. 
Thou art a merciful God and lovest mankind, and unto thee do we send up glory. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. O God Almighty, Lord of heaven and earth, and of all creation, visible and invisible, in, your, in thine ineffable goodness look down upon us, thy people gathered in thy holy name. Be our helper and defender in this day of affliction. Thou knowest our weakness. Thou hearest our cry and repentance and contrition of heart. O Lord, who lovest mankind, deliver us from the impending threat of the coronavirus. Send thine angel to watch over us and protect us. Grant health and recovery to those suffering from this virus. Guide the hands of physicians and preserve those who are healthy. Enable us to continue to serve our suffering brothers and sisters in peace. That together we may glorify the most honorable and majestic name. The Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Pray to the Lord, ye catechumens. Let us, the faithful, pray for the catechumens, that the Lord may have mercy on them, that he may teach them the word of truth. That he may reveal to them the gospel of righteousness. That he may unite them to his holy Catholic and apostolic church. Save them, have mercy on them, help them and keep them, O God, by thy grace. Bow your head unto the Lord, ye catechumens. O Lord our God, who dwellest on high and regardest things below, who is sent forth as the salvation of the race of men, and on the begotten Son and God our Lord Jesus Christ, look down upon thy servants, the catechumens Michael and Nadia, who have bowed their necks before thee, and make them worthy in due time of the laver of regeneration, the remission of sin, and the robe of incorruption. Unite them to thy holy Catholic and apostolic church, and number them with thy chosen flock, that with us they also may glorify thine all honorable and majestic name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. All catechumens depart, depart catechumens, all that are catechumens depart. Let no catechumen remain. Let us, the faithful, again and again in peace, pray unto the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Wisdom, we thank thee, O Lord God of hosts, who has accounted us worthy to stand even now before thy holy altar, and to fall down before thy compassions for our sins and for the errors of the people. Receive our supplication, O God, make us worthy to offer unto thee prayers and supplications and bloodless sacrifices for all thy people, and enable us whom thou hast placed in this thy service by the power of thy Holy Spirit, blamelessly and without offense and the pure witness of our conscience, to call upon thee at all times and in every place, that hearing us thou mayest be merciful to us in the multitude of thy great goodness. For unto thee are due all glory, honor, and worship, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Wisdom, again and oftentimes we fall down before thee and beseech thee who art good and lovest mankind. And looking down upon our petition, thou wouldst cleanse our souls and bodies from all defilement of flesh and spirit, and grant us to stand blameless and without condemnation before thy holy altar. Grant also to those who pray with us, O God, growth in life and faith and spiritual understanding. Grant them always to worship thee blamelessly with fear and love and without condemnation, to partake of thy holy mysteries, and to be accounted worthy of thy heavenly kingdom, that guarded always by thy might we may send up glory unto thee, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. No one is the flesh is worthy to approach or draw near to serve you, King of glory, for a minister to use great and fearful, even to the heavenly powers. Mm -hmm. Nevertheless, through speaking of the boundless love of mankind, you became made without change or alteration, and became our high priest. 
and has managed to all committed to us the ministry of this physical and brotherly sacrifice. You alone, O Lord, our God, rule over those in heaven and on earth who are born in the throne of the cherubim, O Lord of the seraphim and king of Israel. Who alone are holy and rest in the sanctuary, therefore I entreat thee. Who alone are good and ready to listen with down on the sinful and improbable spirit. And cleanse my soul and my heart from an evil conscience. By the power of your Holy Spirit, I will be who will close the grace of the priesthood. To stand before this, your holy faith, and to perform the sacred mystery of your holy most, your body, and your blood. For I draw near to you, bowing my neck, I'm full. And I your face away from me, nor cast me out from among your children, but make me a sinful and unworthy servant, worthy to offer these gifts to you. For you yourself are he that offers and is offered, that accepts and is distributed of Christ our God. And unto you to be to the glory together with your Father, who is without beginning, and you're all holy good. Receive it upon your holy altar and Lift up your hand, the most holy place, and bless you, the Lord. His Beatitude, Deacon, Archbishop of Washington, Metropolitan of All-America and Canada, and His Eminence, Archbishop Alexander, Archbishop of Dallas in the South, the Lord God, remember in His kingdom always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages, for the entire episcopate of the Orthodox Church, the holy priests of the diaconate in Christ, and those who serve the monastic order. The Lord God, remember in his kingdom always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. For the president of this country, all those in civil authorities and those serving in its armed forces everywhere. The Lord God, remember in his kingdom always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. The founders and benefactors of this holy church, for those who labor and those who sing, for those who teach and those who practice hospitality. The Lord God, remember in his kingdom always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. For the servants of God in need of God's mercy, those suffering in the aftermath of violence, terrorism, war, natural calamity, pandemic, especially for those who are recovering from the explosion in Beirut, and those who suffer in the pandemic, the Lord God, remember in his kingdom always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. 
for the servants of God departed this life in the hope of the resurrection. We pray especially for the newly departed servant of God, Tristan. We pray for those who perished in the explosion of Beirut in, in the pandemic. The Lord God, remember them in his kingdom always now and ever and unto ages of ages. We pray also for the servant of God, Robert Gregory. The Lord God, remember him in his kingdom always now and ever and unto ages of ages. You and all Orthodox Christians, the Lord God, remember in his kingdom always now and ever and unto ages of ages. That we may receive the King of all, who commendeth the Bia, O Thy angelic, angelic, O let us complete our prayer unto the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the precious gift now offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. This holy house, and for those who enter it with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That we may be delivered from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. That the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us ask of the Lord. Grant it, O Lord. An angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask of the Lord. Grant it, O Lord. Pardon and remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask of the Lord. Grant it, O Lord. All things that are good and profitable for our souls and peace for the world, let us ask of the Lord. Grant it, O Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance. Let us ask of the Lord. Grant it, O Lord. A Christian ending to our life, painless, blameless, and peaceful, and a good defense before the dread judgment seat of Christ. Let us ask. Grant it, O Lord. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life Unto Christ our God. To thee, Lord. O Lord God Almighty, who alone art holy, who acceptest the sacrifice of praise from those who call upon thee with their whole heart, accept also the prayer of us sinners and bear it to thy holy altar, enabling us to offer unto thee gifts and spiritual sacrifices for our sins and for the errors of the people, and make us worthy to find grace in thy sight so that our sacrifice may be acceptable unto thee and that the good spirit of thy grace may dwell upon us and upon these gifts here offered, and upon all thy people, through the compassions of thine only begotten, some of whom thou art blessed, together with thine all-holy good and life-giving spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Peace be unto all. And to Another that with one mind we may confess. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the Trinity, one in essence and undivided. The doors, the doors. In wisdom let us attend. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, 
the only begotten, begotten of the Father before ages. Light of my true God, a true God. Begotten, not made, a one essence with the Father, by whom all things were made. Who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven. And was incarnate of the Holy Spirit in the Virgin Mary, and became man. And he was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate, and suffered and was buried in the third day. He rose again according to the Scriptures, and ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of Father. And he shall come again with glory to judge the living and the dead whose kingdom have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spoke by the prophets in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I acknowledge from baptism for the remission of sin. I look for the resurrection from the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us stand aright, let us stand with fear, let us attend that we may offer the holy oblation. In peace. A peace, a sacrifice of praise. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us lift up our hearts. We lift them up unto the Lord. Let us give thanks unto the Lord. It is meet and right to worship the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, the Trinity, one in essence and undivided. It is meet and right to him, thee to bless thee, to praise thee, to give thanks to thee, and to worship thee in every place of thy dominion. For thou art God, ineffable, inconceivable, invisible, incomprehensible, ever existing and eternally the same. Thou and then only begotten Son and thy Holy Spirit, thou it was who brought us from non existence into being, and when we had fallen away, didst raise us up again, and didst not cease to do all things until thou hast brought us up to heaven and hast endowed us with thy kingdom, which is to come. For all these things we give thanks unto thee, and to thine only begotten Son, and to thy Holy Spirit. For of all things of which we know and of which we know not, and for all the benefits bestowed upon us, whether manifest or unseen. And we thank thee for this liturgy which thou hast deigned to accept at our hands. Though there stand by thee thousands of archangels and hosts of angels, the cherubim and the seraphim, six-winged, many-eyed, who soar aloft, borne on their pinions, singing the triumphant hymn, shouting, proclaiming, and saying, holy, holy, holy. Lord of Zion, heaven and earth are full of thy glory. O Son and the highest, blessed is he that comes in the name of the Lord. O Son and the highest, Yes. With these blessed powers, O Master, who lovest mankind, we also cry aloud and say, Holy art thou, and all holy thou, and thine only begotten Son, and thy Holy Spirit, 
Holy art thou and all holy and magnificent is thy glory, who hast so loved the world as to give thine only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life, who when he had come and had fulfilled all the dispensation for us in the night in which he was given up, or rather gave himself up for the life of the world, took bread in his holy, most pure and blameless hand, and when he had given thanks and blessed it and hallowed it and broken it, he gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is broken for you for the remission of sin. Amen. Likewise, after supper, he took the cup, saying, Drink of it, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sin. <laughs> Remembering this saving commandment and all those things which have come to pass for us, the cross, the tomb, the resurrection on the third day, the ascension into heaven, the sitting at the right hand, and the second and glorious coming, offering unto thee thine own of thine own, on behalf of all and for all. unto thee this rational and bloodless worship and ask thee and pray thee and supplicate thee send down thy holy spirit upon us and upon these gifts here offered and make this bread the precious body of thy christ amen and that which is in this cup the precious blood of thy christ amen making the change by thy holy spirit amen 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 come quickly lord jesus that they may be to those who partake for vigilance of soul, for the remission of sins, for the communion of thy Holy Spirit, for the fulfillment of the kingdom of heaven, for boldness towards thee, but not for judgment or condemnation. Again, we offer unto thee this rational worship for those who have fallen asleep in the faith, ancestors, fathers, patriarchs, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, ascetics, and every righteous spirit made perfect in faith especially for our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever-Virgin Mary. It is very meet to bless the Theotokos, ever-blessed and most pure and the Mother of us. God, the Lord, and the cherubim, and who glory has be, and compare them to the seraphim, with thou defilement thou gavest birth to the word, with a hope of God's remembrance, with a tranquility, may lead a calm and peaceful life in all godliness and sanctity. Among the first to remember, O Lord, his beatitude, our metropolitan deacon, and his eminence, Archbishop Alexander, grant them for thy holy churches in peace, safety, honor, health, and length of days, rightly to divide the word of thy truth. And all Remember, O Lord, this city of San Antonio in which we dwell, every city and countryside, and those who in faith dwell in them. Remember, O Lord, travelers by land, by sea, and by air, the sick and the suffering, captives and their salvation. Remember, O Lord, those who bring offerings and do good in thy holy churches, 
And those who remember the poor and upon us all send down thy mercy and grant that with one mouth and one heart we may glorify and praise thine all honorable and majestic name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. And may the mercies of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ be with you all. And with your spirit. Having remembered all the saints again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the precious gifts now offered and sanctified, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That our God, who loves mankind, having received them upon his holy and noetic altar above the heavens as a sweet spiritual fragrance, will send down upon us and return his divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit, let us pray. Lord, have mercy. That we may be delivered from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. That the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless. Let us ask of the Lord. Grant it, o Lord. An angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies. Let us ask of the Lord. Grant it, o Lord. Pardon and remission of our sins and transgressions. Let us ask of the Lord. Grant it, o Lord. All things that are good and profitable for our souls and peace for the world. Let us ask of the Lord. Grant it, o Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, let us ask of the Lord. Grant it, o Lord. Our Christian ending to our life, painless, blameless, and peaceful, and a good defense for the dread judgment seat of Christ, let us ask. Grant it, o Lord. Having asked for the unity of the faith and the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life. Unto Christ our God. Unto thee, o Lord. Unto thee we commend our whole life and our hope, O Master, who lovest mankind. And we ask thee and pray thee and supplicate thee. Make us worthy to partake of the heavenly and dread mysteries of this sacred and spiritual table with a pure conscience for remission of sins, for forgiveness of transgressions, for the communion of the Holy Spirit, for the inheritance of the kingdom of heaven, for boldness towards thee but not for judgment or condemnation. And make us worthy, O Master, that with boldness and without condemnation we may dare to call upon thee, the heavenly God, as Father, and to say... Our Father, who art in Thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Peace be unto all. And to your spirit. Bow your heads unto the Lord. To thee, Lord. We give thanks unto thee, O King Invisible, who by thy measureless power didst make all things, and in the greatness of thy mercy didst bring all things from non existence into being. Look down from heaven, O Master, upon those who have bowed their heads unto thee, for they have not bowed down unto flesh and blood, but unto thee, the fearful God. Do thou thyself, O Master, make smooth what lies before us all unto good according to the individual need of each. Sail with those who sail, travel with those who travel by land and by air. Heal the sick, O thou who art the physician of our souls and bodies. 
through the grace and compassion and love for mankind of thine only begotten Son, with whom thou art blessed, together with thine all holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Amen. Of the glory of thy kingdom, and come to sanctify us. O thou who sittest on high with the Father and art here invisibly present with us, and by thy mighty hand deign to impart unto us thy most pure body and precious blood, and through us to all the people. O God, cleanse me, a sinner, and have mercy on me. O God, cleanse me, a sinner, and have mercy on me. O God, cleanse me, a sinner, and have mercy on me. Let us attend the holy things for the holy. One is holy. One is the Lord Jesus Christ. Through the glory of God the Father. fullness of the cup, the faith, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The righteous shall be in heaven. The righteous shall be in everlasting remembrance. He shall not fear evil tidings. Alleluia, alleluia. the fervor of the faith, full of the Holy Spirit. I believe, O Lord, and I confess that Thou art truly the Christ, the Son of the living God, who came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am first. I believe also that this is truly Thine own most pure body, and that this is truly Thine own precious blood. Therefore, I pray Thee, have mercy upon me, and forgive my trespasses, both voluntary and involuntary, of word and of deed, committed in knowledge or in ignorance, and make me worthy to partake without condemnation of thy most pure mystery for the remission of my sins and unto life everlasting. Amen. Of thy mystical supper, O Son of God, accept me today as a communicant, for I will not speak of thy mystery to thine enemies. Neither like Judas will I give thee a kiss, but like the thief will I confess thee. Remember me, O Lord, in thy kingdom. May the communion of thy most holy mysteries be neither to my judgment nor to my condemnation, O Lord, but to the healing of soul and body. Amen. Of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, I have been worthy to save us today to the remission of our sins and of the life of our Lord. Rejoice in the Lord. O God, cleanse me. Rejoice in the Lord. Oh God, thank you. Thank you. Rejoice in the Lord, oh, you righteous, great he fits the just. Praise to the Lord with the heart, chant unto him with the ten string psaltery. Rejoice in the Lord, oh, you righteous, great the just. Sing unto him a new song, chant well unto him with jubilation, for the word of the Lord is true, and all his works are in faithfulness. Rejoice in the Lord, O oh, you righteous, praise me, fits the just. The Lord loves mercy and justice. Judgment, the earth is full of the mercy of the Lord. Rejoice in the Lord, O oh, you righteous, great thief is the judge. The word of the Lord were the heavens established, and all the that might of them, by the Spirit of his mouth, gathers together as unto the wineskin the waters of the sea. Who lays up the abysses in the storehouses. Rejoice in the Lord, oh, you righteous, 
Great beef is the judge. Let all the earth fear the Lord, and let all the inhabitants of the world be shaken before him. For he spoke, and they came into me. He commanded, and they were created. Rejoice in the Lord, O oh, your righteous. Great be the just. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. In the fear of God and with faith and in love draw near. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. God is the Lord and has revealed himself to us. Servant of God, thank you for the holy body and blessed blood of our Lord, God, Savior Jesus Christ. For the remission of his sins and unto life everlasting. Amen. Receive the body of Christ. Taste the fountain of immortality. Receive the body of Christ. Of Christ. Amen. Tis the fountain of immortality. Serve God, Joseph, receive the Almighty Body and the blood of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ. Receive the Almighty Body of Christ. Tis the Who is the Lord and power of God? 
Not that we may more perfectly partake of Him in the never-ending day of the kingdom. O God, save thy people and bless thine inheritance. We have seen much light. We have received the heavenly spirit. We have found the truth there. Worship me and divide in Trinity. Who has saved us? Blessed is our God, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let our mouths be filled with thy praise, O Lord, that we may sing of thy glory. For thou hast made us worthy to partake of thy holy, divine, immortal, and life creating mysteries. Keep us in thy holiness, that all the day we may permit on thy righteousness. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Stand upright, having partaken of the divine, holy, most pure, immortal, heavenly life-giving and dread mysteries of Christ. Let us worthily give thanks unto the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Asking that the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. Unto thee, we thank thee, O Master, who lovest mankind, benefactor of our souls, that thou hast made us worthy this day of thy heavenly and immortal mystery. Make straight our path, strengthen us all in thy fear. Guard our life, make firm our steps through the prayers and intercessions of the glorious Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary and of all thy saints. For thou art our sanctification, and unto thee do we send up glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let us depart in peace. In the name of the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. O Lord, who blessest those who bless thee and sanctifiest those who trust in thee, save thy people and bless thine inheritance. Preserve the fullness of thy church. Sanctify those who love the beauty of thy house. Glorify them and return by thy divine power and forsake us not to put our hope in thee. Give peace to thy world, to thy churches, to thy priests, to all those in civil authority, to the armed forces, and to all thy people. For every good gift and every perfect gift is from above, coming down from thee, the Father of lights. And unto thee do we send up glory, thanksgiving, and worship to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Bless me the, the name of the, the Lord, henceforth and forevermore. Bless me the name of the Lord, henceforth and forevermore. Blessed be the name of the Lord, henceforth and forevermore. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise will be continually in my mouth. In the Lord my soul shall make her boast. Let the meek hear and be glad. Magnify the Lord with me. And let us exalt his name together. I saw the Lord and he heard me. And delivered me from all my afflictions. 
They drew near to him and were enlightened, and your faces shall not be ashamed. This poor one cried, the Lord heard him, and saved him from all the tribulations. The angel of the Lord will they kept on about them, I'm shall be Days and seeds, the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who hopeth in him. Fear the Lord, all ye his saints, for there is no lack for them that fear him. The rich have become poor and hungry, but they that seek the Lord shall not want any good thing. Mm. Glory to thee, O God, glory to thee, O God, glory to thee, O God. I thank thee, O Lord my God, for thou hast not rejected me a sinner, but hast made me worthy to be a partaker of thy holy things. I thank thee, for thou hast permitted me, the unworthy, to commune of thy most pure and heavenly gifts. But, O Master, who lovest mankind, who for our sakes didst die and rise again, and gave us these awesome and life-creating mysteries for the good and sanctification of our souls and bodies, let them be for the healing of souls and bodies, repelling of every adversary, the illumining of the eyes of my heart, the peace of my spiritual powers, a faith unashamed, a love unfeigned, the fulfilling of wisdom, the observing of thy commandments, the receiving of thy divine grace and the attaining of thy kingdom. Preserved by them in thy holiness, may I always remember thy grace and live not for myself alone, but for thee, our master and benefactor. May I pass from this life in the hope of eternal life and so attain to the everlasting rest where the, jo where the voice of those who feast is unset unceasing and the gladness of those who behold the goodness of thy countenance is unending. For thou art the true desire and the ineffable joy of those who love thee, O Christ our God, and all creation sings of thy praise forever. Amen. Freely thou hast given me thy body for my food, O thou who art a fire consuming the unworthy. Consume me not, O my Creator, but instead enter into my members, my veins, my heart. Consume the thorns of my transgression. Cleanse my soul and sanctify my reasonings. Make my Make firm my knees and body, illumine my five senses, nail me to the fear of thee, always protect, guard, and keep me from soul-destroying words and deeds. Cleanse me, purify, and adorn me. Give me understanding and illumination. Show me to be a temple of thy one spirit and not the home of many sins. May every evil thing, every carnal passion flee from me as from a fire as I become thy tabernacle through communion. I offer thee as intercessor. All the saints, the leaders of the bodiless hosts, thy forerunner of the wise apostles, and thy pure and blameless mother, accept their prayers in, the, in thy love, O my Christ, and make me thy servant a child of light. For thou art the only sanctification and light of our souls, O good one, unto thee, our Master and God, we ascribe glory day by day. The blessing of the Lord be upon you through his grace and love for mankind. Always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Glory to thee, O Christ, our God, and our hope. Glory to thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Father, May Christ our to God through the prayers of his most pure mother, of the holy, glorious, and all laudable apostles, of our Father among the saints, John Chrysostom, whose liturgy we celebrate, of our Father among the saints, Nicholas the Wonder Worker, Archbishop of Mira and Lycia, of Saint Anthony the Great, the heavenly patron of this holy temple, of St. Alexander Hosovitsky and the prophet Samuel, whose memories we keep in the church this day, of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us, for he is good and loves mankind. Amen.
all of you. Um, grateful uh, to see uh, faces back here that uh, uh, coming back with confession and communion. Uh, it's it's where the church is most the church. And so uh, you know I I'm uh, always grateful for the opportunity to see the St. Anthony's family. Uh, we will, uh, of course, be having a, uh, a small uh, class for the inquirers and the catechumens uh, to follow. Um, the next service will be this Saturday, as usual. We'll have great vespers with confessions to follow. Uh, so uh, I do hope to see uh, anyone who's wanting to come to confession after a time uh, to prepare yourself to receive uh, the Holy Eucharist, which will be uh, the Divine Liturgy as usual on Sunday uh, at 10 a.m. May God bless you. Have a peaceful and undisturbed evening. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Glory to Jesus Christ. Glory to Christ.